All right, hello and welcome back. For the third time, we're going to start our video right here at the uh, entrance to town. Um, I think that, ooh, nice little uh, <clears throat> tricks there getting shown off by auto. Um, all right, I think that what we will do today is finally start to um, dive into um, probably our main kind of objective of the quest, which will require us to walk onto this screen for a second time. There seems to be a fox north of the road. Hello, little fox. Oh, I skipped that. He just asked for help, basically. You try to talk to him. My foot is caught in this cruel trap, and I am in great pain. Surely you can take a minute and set me free. Please help, brave and kind hero. Can we talk to him anymore? No. I'm in such pain and agony. I cannot think. Help me, good adventurer, please. All right, that's enough. We have tortured this poor fox long enough. We can set it free. You spring the trap. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, it sometimes pays off to be polite, even to rude people. Okay? As for the amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. What? We had no idea. Uh, to break the spell, you need to talk to the Dryad. Au revoir. Ta-ta for now. Be seeing you. All right. So... Even though he didn't tell us where the Dryad is, luckily, I already know. <clears throat> and we are actually going to go right over there today. I think that little hitch was your screen. Yeah. Um, sometimes you'll notice a little hitch as you transition from screen to screen, and that generally means that there is uh, a fight coming. I think this should be our first fight. Um, we'll do a little bit of physical combat. Just show things off a bit. But there we go. Next time that we have an enemy, maybe we'll try some uh, of our magical abilities. You find a single silver coin. Pol carefully polish it and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living, indeed. Um, you can see how, as a magic user, our fighting ability is by no means. Um, particularly high level. We didn't do a, a lot of damage. The beautiful white stag is foraging for food. Yeah, we didn't use a lot of, or do a lot of damage. We used up a pretty good chunk of our stamina for a goblin, which is easily the uh, easiest enemy in the game. And if we try to step towards the white stag, you seem to have startled the white stag. All right, so we will follow this stag. Maybe we'll get uh, luckier this time around. You seem to have started the white stag. All right. Well, let's keep going. See what happens. Follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. You watch the stag, fascinated with his grace and beauty. There is something special about this place. Let's keep going. The tree woman speaks. I am the dryad, keeper of the woods. Are you one with the woods? Yes, yes I am. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. I forget exactly what happens if you say no. Um... She might just kill you. Oh, bring me a seed from the spore-spitting spiria, I don't know how to say that word, of the north, that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Thus will you become a true friend of the forest. I don't know if she kills you, or if it basically ends the game, or if you just get a chance to um, try again. It's been a very, very long time since I have bothered to say no to that, so I just don't remember. You pick a handful of these smaller mushrooms and carefully put them away in your backpack. Um, the trees look most vi look more vibrant than most of the forest. There's a ring of mushrooms in the center of the clearing. A um, little delay on announcing that, but that's okay. All right, we're going to work our way north a bit. Um, we could walk over there, but I don't want to just yet. And over here should be the Goblin Training Grounds. Um, so this is not part of the quest itself, but it is the best location to do some training. A goblin steps out of the bush. 
Every time you come here, uh, it starts off, there's just one goblin. The goblin has a mean look in its eye. You prepare for battle. Let's see. You can use Flame Dart, which also doesn't do a great deal of damage at this point of the game. Um, just like your other skills in the game, the more you utilize a spell, the more your uh, ability with that spell increases, and therefore the damage that the spell does increases. Wow, you threw that dead goblin a long way. Uh, you find five silvers concealed in a pouch, you take the silver. So yeah, every time you come here, um, one more goblin appears. So the next time we'll have to fight two in a row, then three, then four, up to eight. Um, and at that point, the numbers stop increasing. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, there is a big difference between your fighting ability uh, or combat abilities as a magic user, a thief, and um, as a fighter, particularly at the beginning of the game. In all three instances, you're relatively weak, but um, the thief and the magic user have a lot of difficulty, particularly early on. You can even take a look at our still spell, uh, spell skill. So fetch uh, is seven. We'll have to work on that. And flame dart is now 10. It was probably slightly lower before we used it there in the fight. Uh, both of these, all of these will max out at 100, just like your regular skills. Um, and then that increases by 100 in each subsequent game. Yeah, we probably can't even cast it. Uh, but we do have these plants here that we'll take a look at. You've never seen anything quite like them. They're pretty uh, in a grotesque way. Um, so I shouldn't have enough magic to do it right now, right? Yeah. Uh, but this is the seed that that dryad was talking about. Um, I think you should be able to intuit that from them spitting that spore around, that they are the spore-spitting plant. Um, but, all right, let's head north up here, and we are going to go to this location. The meadow lies covered with a blanket of flowers, unusual for this early in the spring. It is warm, even though surrounded by the late snows of winter. A large carved stone lies flat on the ground. You feel as though someone gentle was watching over you. You feel that you are safe here. The air has the fresh, clean scent of the mountains, accompanied by numerous perfume-like fragrances. Very nice. Um, so, we're going to grab a little piece of fruit here. The sweet, juicy fruit of the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. Um, so that should, I think, fill us up for three days. We shouldn't need food for three days, which is nice. Pick some flowers. As you pick a variety of the sweet-smelling flowers, they seem to glow in your hands. You put them safely away. I don't know if you can hear kitty purring or meowing over there. Looking for the rest of the family who's not here right now. Now we can take a closer look at this gravestone. The large stone appears to be ancient and deliberately placed. Marks carved into the stone almost look like writing. The stone has the words Arana's Peace carved on upon the top. There are some runes carved along the side. Can we see the runes? It reads, If thy will is magic, so shall I share. Open this stone and claim what is there. Uh, let me see what we have for cash. I think we shouldn't have enough because we just... Yeah. Um, I forget. I just was talking with uh, Zara in the last video, but I forget how much open is, but it's probably 40, I think. Um, so we'll have to do a little more uh, work to get that amount of cash. Actually, we should probably rest for a bit since both our stamina and magic are so low. See how we're doing. Um, all right, so our stamina is good at least. Magic is still low, but that is unavoidable at this stage of the game. I think what we will do here is have another, eh, why not? Still here, still chasing us, good. Where are you little goblin man? Yeah, with the uh, magic uh, user and the thief characters, you want to spend a little more time um, 
training against the lone enemies wandering around in the woods. Whereas the fighter, for the most part, you can dive into um, <clears throat> the goblin training ground and uh, just have an easier time of things there. Uh, you may have seen, in addition to using the flame dart spell there, I also used zap, uh, which is a spell that puts a little charge on your weapon. It makes your physical attacks stronger. Um, all right, we're going to have a little chat with this centaur that uh, I believe the healer mentioned to us. Centaur stops raking as you approach. That was a goofy little smiley hat. Name, I am Heinrich Prefurderden. <laughs> I live in town with my daughter, Hildy, who sells our produce on Market Street. We will be stopping in on Hildy later. Hildy? Hildy is a bright little filly. I'm very proud of her. Farmer's Mart. Our stand is in the northeast corner of Spielberg. The produce is not of the finest this time of year, but you will not find better than Prefurderden fruit come harvest time. I suppose I could just say that name right, but it's just so much more fun not to. Harvest, we grow we will find fruit in our little orchard and sell it at the stand in town. Uh, there you will find fresh cherries in the spring, peaches in summer, and apples in the fall. It is truly a sight to see. That was nice. Uh, we'll ask about the farm, I guess. I can grow enough on this little plot to feed my family and the village. You should see this field during the summer. We will not. Vegetables, there's a few carrots, potatoes left from last season, but I'm just starting to plant the crops now. Fruit, in a couple of months, you'll have some cherries. The apples won't ripen until fall. Um, and the field. Uh, there is much work for me to do now, and I bid you good day. And yet, we're going to keep talking to him. And we will ask about the brigands. This is the one topic you actually have to ask about, at least if you want full uh, puzzle points. Brigands attacked me a few months ago. I am a strong fighter, and my hooves are deadly, but there were too many of them. My right leg was broken, and there is no pride for a centaur who cannot run. If it had not been for the unlikely intervention of their leader, I would be dead. Interesting. The brigand leader is the one who saved him. Uh, I think this is what we get points for. Yeah. The leader came upon me after the brigands attacked me and forced them to stop, ordering them not to hurt people from the town. Then, to my amazement, the leader gave me a healing potion and had me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader, whose face was obscured by a large hell, but there was compassion unlike what one expects from a brigand. Healer. The healer lives just east of here. She is very skilled with potions. And centaurs. We centaurs are a very ancient and proud people. I'm sorry, I know a little about the Baron and his family. That's all right, I don't really care about them. Um, all right, let's say farewell. We can move on. And I think what we will do, let's see, we have a couple of options. Um, do, tell you what, we will say hi to a couple of people. Yeah, I don't think, I don't have any magic right now, right? No, I don't want to fight a brigand with no magic. Not just yet. Um, yeah, we're just going to say hi to a couple of people, and then I think we will end the video. So let's pop up here. Say hello. Looking around, you get the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. Tell me about it. Baba Yaga is the most powerful ogress around. If you have any brains, you'll stay away from her. Fair enough. Ogress, uh, you're some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. That's fair. Uh, hut, Baba Yaga's hut will squat if you say the rhyme. What is the rhyme? The hut will squat if you say hut of brown, now sit down. Um, you can pay someone to tell you this, and actually we probably will for the sake of the puzzle points, but yeah, if you actually take the time to talk to Bonehead here, then he'll tell you it for free. All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No, I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. Oh, good to know. Uh, yes, we'll make that deal. All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. Um, Alright. So now we have a second 
quest now that uh, we're being sent on. Uh, no. Wait until we're just a touch stronger before we try and deal with that. I'm going to go over to what I kind of, yeah, I was going to, oh, that was wrong. What I kind of consider to be the, uh, I guess, eastern part of the woods. Oh, this is not where I wanted to go yet. Down here. Yeah, we can fight this goblin. Hello, friend. Do we have a zap available? We do. All right. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you do have to do... You know, it's, it's not the most advanced uh, combat by any means, but you do have to do a little bit of timing. The goblins make things very easier. Some of the other enemies require a good bit more work. Two silver coins. Carefully place them in your pouch. Um, but ultimately, it's... it's by no means exceptionally difficult. All right, one of my favorite uh, little guys who has very minimal effect on the story ultimately. Um, far from the frost field fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name, it is known in the Northlands as Braugi. Barter with blades clash or bargain with me. So we can either fight him, or we can make a bargain. Braugi, Braugi I be, to boast of my boldness, strong as the storm that sends forth the snow, fiercer in fighting than foes in their fury. Fear now this frost giant, fighter, and flee. I don't want to fear you, I want to be your friend. Northlands, far from the frost field, fares forth this fighter, hunger has held me hither from home. Uh, yeah, he just repeats what he said initially. Bargain. So yeah, what kind of bargain can we make? Find me some fruit for to mellow my mead horn. Gift I will give of a gem that now glows. Hey, look at that. We just so happen to be looking for a glowing gem. Jewel from Jotunheim, flare of the frost flame. Fetch to me fruit that will fill up my fists. <laughs> it looks like it will take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists. Indeed it will. All right, we can ask some more. Highest of harvest, the finest of flavor, apples or oranges, peaches or pears. So we want some, presumably, apples, based on the conversation we have with the centaur. Mead, mead is the mother's milk, mighty yet mellow, that brings joy to giants and madness to men. And the gem, glow of the frost flame that fills up the night field, a jewel that is flawless, the finest of gem. Almost seems like it would be wasted on... Uh, Bonehead there. Hunger. Hollow my food house, for my hunt has been hindered by having to hurry here from my home. I didn't fully understand that. That's fine. <laughs> Fiercer than frost's bite, my fury is fearless. My axe, it is edged as is the ice. This warrior is willing to wield now the war drum. The battle axe blazes and bellows for blood. Um, you actually can try to attack Raugi, but all that happens is he kills you immediately. Um, so it's not overly worthwhile. But, all right, we will depart um, with a plan in place to collect some fruit for Raugi. Um, with that done, I think, yes, we're going to um, head back over to the western part of the forest. And is it a brigand or a goblin? Good, goblin. Um, yeah, we're going to head over to the western part of the forest, and um, I will end things here. And off screen, I'm going to do a little bit of training to build up some of our stamina and magical ability. Um, and cash flow, for that matter. Probably not a massive amount, I don't think. Uh, but uh, let's see what happens. Maybe I'll use flame too, why not? What do we got? Alright, do we have enough for zap? No. Alright. Alright, so this is a Saurus. Um, a medium, low medium strength enemy um, that has no treasure for us ever, which makes it a lot less uh, fun to fight and win a fight against, but that's okay. So yeah, we're going to end things here. Off screen, um, I'll spend a day or two doing some training just to build ourselves up a little bit. 
And um, when we come back, we'll be right here, and we will continue on in our quest to, let's see, I guess get some fruit, uh, get the spore-spitting spirea seed, uh, and a, a glowing gem for Bonehead. But till then, see ya! <laughs>